In the following genome demonstration, we will be selecting vertices inside a mesh volume. We have a scene that contains a teapot and a geosphere, and the real-time playback is turned off. We can play back this scene and it runs really fast. Let's select this teapot, take a look, it has 32 segments, and the geosphere has 16 segments. If we enable the volume select to select the vertices inside the volume of the geosphere, we can play back the scene animation and we'll start at about 5 FPS and then performance goes down the more vertices fall inside the mesh volume. We're going down to about 2 FPS. If we play back without the object uh, being selected, it's still performing about the same. That means the performance drop is based on the modifier and not the graphics card and the viewport drawing. Let's enable the genome version. This version of the volume select uses intersect ray and measures the distance to the intersection if it's less than zero, that means if it's negative, that means it was inside the volume. If we play back with the genome modifier, we're getting much faster performance. And if we deselect the object, it runs at about 15 FPS. Let's see what will happen if we increase the number of polygons in the mesh object that we're using as volume. Setting it to 32 segments doesn't change the performance. We're still running at 14, 15 FPS. We can go even higher to 64. And genome is going to perform the same. Let's go back to 32 segments in the geosphere and take a look at how volume select handles this situation. The performance is much slower. It's dependent on both the number of vertices in the teapot and the number of faces in the mesh volume being tested against. If we go to 64 segments, it will get even slower. In contrast, genome only depends on the number of vertices being processed and not the number of faces that are being tested against. Let's enable the genome modifier again and create another object in the scene, a torus, and just select the teapot, select the genome modifier and pick this new object as another selection object and we can now select easily using two volumes at about the same speed. In fact, we can add any number of objects in the same modifier, while with uh, volume select we would have to stack multiple modifiers and add the selection. Even if we animate the torus, nothing changes, it's still very fast, because the acceleration structures of genome take that into account. 